Hi, this is Andrew from Synergy, and welcome to another Synergy Air Pro video. This time, we're going to be looking at multi-channel and simulcast. So, let's go. You'll remember last time, we set up a channel, we showed some branding, and I even sneaked in a little simulcast, but I didn't tell you how I did it. Now we're going to put that right. So, the first thing we need if we want to go multi-channel is, obviously, another channel. And so what I'll do is I'll start up my configurator, select a free engine, and configure it. We'll call this one Channel 2. Speed through the setup. We've seen this before. Now, we're going to set the output to HD NTSC, but we're going to be playing out in SD. And the way we do that is to add another channel. So I select SD NTSC. We're going to play it out on a window, and that's it. So you'll notice we have a video standard of 1080i 2997, but no output device for it. That means that our engine will accept HD content and play it out in SD. And we're configured. So if I go here now, we have a second engine, hit the button, and it's running. I'll tuck the window down and park it out of the way. So, now we've got two engines configured, but we have to tell Control that we have two engines configured. So, I'm going to start up the configurator again, and I'm going to select Multi-Channel Control. Here you can see, much as before, we have red fields, but here also we have the possibility of putting in additional channels. So, I'll put in Channel 1, Make sure that the standard is correct. Make sure that the engine is selected. And make sure that the playlist is in place. I will also, just for tidiness, add the repository for graphics, although we're not going to be using any this time. Now, I'd like to add a second channel. And all I need to do is click here and give it a name. Again, we want to make sure that this is the correct standard, that the engine is identified, in this case it's local engine number one, and again, that we have a playlist. Okay, so now let's open up Air Pro Control and see what we've got. Configured as we are now for multiple channels. And so here we see channel 1 and channel 2 are visible. I'm going to connect to channel 1, and then I'm going to connect to channel 2. Although we have a single control interface, the channels are completely independent from one another. Here also are a couple of interesting things that we can show you. For example, I can show you the monitor panel. Now this is rather useful because it gives you an out all the outputs that you're outputting from your air at this one time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go take channel one, and I'm going to load a playlist that I've prepared already. This one's got a little bit of delay on it so that I can load the second one, which I do in exactly the same way. These playlists were prepared with the control interface, or playlist editor, as we call it these days. So now we see two channels. I'll kick this one off, and here we have it. Two independent channels running at the same time. From here, we can see the video monitors. We can see each separate channel as it plays. And we can also look at the Windows output of the HD, HD simulcast in SD, and SD channels, all running simultaneously. Now, from here, we can also see how the system is performing in two different places. One of these is the Playout Dashboard. You'll see that the Playout Dashboard will demonstrate how much CPU each channel is taking. However, be warned, this indicator only shows the usage of air, not of the background processes. To confirm that, you'll need to look at the Task Manager. Now we can see here, this is an Intel Skylake processor, four cores, eight processors, and we're running ah, 70, 80%. I wouldn't put any more on this system. But of course, you can always spread the load by running channels on separate servers and control them from the one interface. So that's a quick look at multi-channel and simulcast using Synergy Air Pro. 
See you on the next video.